Praise the Lord and greetings in the name of our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ. We want to thank you all out there for tuning into the radio program this Sunday morning. Giving God the praise, the glory, and the honor for what he has done for our lives on today. I want you to turn with me to the word of the Lord found in the book of Jeremiah. Jeremiah chapter 31 and beginning at verse number 3. The word of the Lord says, The Lord had appeared of old unto me, saying, Yea, I have loved thee with an everlasting love. Therefore, with loving kindness have I drawn thee. Go with me to John 10 and 10. The thief cometh not, but for to steal, and to kill, and to destroy. I am come that they might have life, and that they might have it more abundantly. John 3.16 For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. I want to talk to you today for a few moments here about God's love. And God loves you. God's love and God loves you. Today I want you to realize and understand that God loves you more than anything in this world. And that you are loved by God. I want to talk to you about three things today. Three critical things today uh, in our lives on today. The first thing is that people have been drawn away from God instead of being drawn to God by the truths of the word of the Lord. It's a known fact, my friend, that in the word of the Lord, the Bible says, For God so loved the world that he gave. Now, I want you to understand and realize that God has not only given of himself for you but it's time for you to give of yourself to him it's time to turn away from the things of the ways of man and begin to turn back to the things of God this is a very important fact my friend that God loves you as a individual a person regardless of who you are where you come from what your nationality is, or where you was born, God loves the person. Hallelujah. And you have to realize and understand that the facts and the truths of the word of God is only found in the Bible. You can only find the truths of the word of God in the word of God. Now, uh, people have been drawn away from the plan of salvation, but the plan of salvation is still here for your life. It has been said that all roads lead to Rome. Uh huh. But I'm here to tell you, my friends, uh, that all roads lead to salvation. Your salvation is so important. You coming to God is... Is so important. You knowing God is so important. The truths of the word of the Lord is so important for your life. So the second thing I want to talk to you about is that the thief. The Bible says that the thief cometh not. Don't think uh, that the enemy has not come to steal your life. But the enemy has come to steal your life. Press you down beat you down, hold you down, and stop you from coming to the things of God. That's his job. That's his purpose is to kill and to destroy. But in the word of the Lord, my friends, the truth of the word of God, the Bible said that I've come that you might have life. Do you really want the life that God has for you? If you really want life, that God has for you, my friends, it's time to come to God's love. Co time to come to the love of God. That pure love that God has for each and every one of us on today. You may be incarcerated. God loves you. 
You may be going through a, uh, going through a divorce. God loves you. Uh, you may have lost a loved one. But God still loves you. My friend, the love of God is for every individual here today. You said, well, I've done wrong. My friends, God loves you. You have to repent and turn away from the things of the ways of the world and come back to the things and the ways of God. For the Bible declares, for the thief cometh not but for to steal. And to kill and to destroy. The dis destruction of the enemy is coming on our lives to press us down. To hold us down. To keep us having a deaf ear to the things of the ways of God. My friends, the enemy, uh, his tactics are working. But I want to turn his tactics around and I want to lead you to uh, this man by the name of Jesus there's only one way and that way is a person and that person is God there's only one way that you can get saved and that is coming to the Lord Jesus Christ but you got to come to God while the blood is running warm in your vein you can't come to God any other way you got to come to God while the blood is running warm in your veins. And you have to be the individual to make up your mind. To make up your mind today and say, Lord, here I am. They said I was no good. They said I couldn't make it. Uh, they said that I was, go I was not going to last. But I'm here to tell you, my friends, that you've got to be the one to fight the good fight of faith and be led by the Spirit of God it doesn't matter your color it doesn't matter your sex it doesn't matter your religious background it doesn't matter who you are it doesn't matter where you come from I'm telling you today that the truths in the Word of God is able to save your life for God loved the world that he gave. Will you give up your life for God today? Will you turn your mind off? Turn off all of your thinking. All of your ways of thinking. And begin to think about the goodness of God. If God had not woke you up this morning. And started you out on a brand new day. You would be lost. And ever so lost. My friend the truth of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Is the only thing. And the only way to save your life. Your life is so important. You are so important to God. Hallelujah. Your life is important to God. You mean so much to God today. Make up your mind. And say, Lord, here I am. They said I wasn't nothing. But here I am. They said I couldn't amount to anything, but here I am. They said I wasn't going to be able to uh, do anything with my life. But Lord, I come to you as humble as I know how. Third thing, the Lord had appeared of old unto us and or unto me, saying, Yea, I have loved thee with my friend. God's love is for everlasting Unto everlasting, unto everlasting. God loves you with an unconditional love. Uh huh. There is no greater love than this that a man would lay down his life for his friends. My friend, for the Bible declares and says, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. We know that. And we know the truths of that. For the Bible declares and says, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. As it is written, there is none righteous. No, not one. There is none that understandeth. There is none that seeketh after God. They are all gone out of the way. They are all together become unprofitable. There is none that doeth good. No. Not one. 
my friends, let's turn that around and come to God while the blood is running warm in our veins. Let's make up in our mind that we want to be on the road to salvation. We want to be on the way to salvation. We want to be saved today. And I'm talking about truly being born again. I'm talking about turning off the things of the ways of the world. And looking to God for everything that we need. Instead of looking to people. And looking to things. And looking to ways. Look to God for the things that you need. Look to the love of God. Now, one thing about the love of God is that the love of God is so precious. And so nurturing. And so tender and so caring that God died on the cross over 2,000 years ago for the sins of the whole wide world. Your sins were many. My sins were many. But we have to begin to believe in the word of God. I'm talking about actually believing in the Bible. I'm talking about believing uh, in the word of God. And taking the word of God literally at its word. I'm talking about holding on to the truths that are only found in God's word. You can't find uh, any truths in your psychology. You can't find uh, any. You can find understanding. Uh, some understanding uh, in your psychology thinking. But you can't find the understanding of the word of God. In your mind without knowing who God really is. You got to know God for yourself. That's the reason why the Bible said that the thief. John 10 and 10. That thief comes to steal the word of God. Comes to steal your salvation. Comes to steal the blessings of the Lord from your life. The Lord Jesus Christ. As you have read out of the word of God. Remember. Remember. Remember that God loves you. More than anything. That's a fact. These are actual. Truths and facts. That God loves you. More than anything in this world. And the reason why I know it is because he laid down his life. Just for you. And for I. He laid down his life. For you. My friends. Your life was so important. That God laid down his life just for you. You said, Elder McCray, I don't, ha I don't mean much to people. Uh, I'm an alcoholic or I'm a drunk or whatever uh, uh, thing that may be going on in your life. I'm a prostitute. I don't mean nothing to people. I'm uneducated. I don't have a master's degree or PA. I don't mean anything to people. But my friends, I'm, ta I'm not talking about people. I'm talking about God loving you and you loving God. I'm talking about giving your life. He gave you life. Now it's time for you to give your life over unto God. Turn away from the things of the ways of the world and turn to God. Therefore, to him that knows to do good and do it is not to him, the Bible says that is sin. James 4 and 17. My friends, turn the world off and turn on God. Turn off the ways of the world and turn on the word of God. God loves you, my friend, more than anything in this world. God loves you more than people. He loves you more than anything that you can imagine in this world. Uh-huh. See, many people today, they're in love with their cars. They're in love with their houses. Uh, they're in love uh, with things. Uh, but my friend, the best thing that you can be in, it's good to be in love with your wife. It's good to be in love with your children. It's good to be in love with your family. It's good to be in love with uh, your, your life. Amen. But the best thing that you can be in love with is God. The greatest thing that you can know for yourself is God. The greatest thing that you can know for your life is God. My friends, it is time for you to accept God or accept the ways or accept salvation for your life on today. 
it's time for you to be led to the things of God. See, we are easy to be led to the things of the ways of man. Because we think that man has our solution. He has the way to solve our problems. But no, my friends, the only one that is able truly to serve, to save your life, is God. You can't be saved by a man. You can't be saved by an individual. You can only be saved through salvation and through the word of God. Don't continue to allow the thief to come in and to steal. Don't continue to allow the pressure of this world to take you out of the things of the ways of God. Look at the word of God, my friends, at the word of the Lord. The Bible says the thief, the thief. Now we know where the thief is. The thief comes to steal and to kill and to destroy. But the word of God, look at the word of God, my friend. The word of God says, I've come, which is God, which is uh, the ways of God. I've come that they may have life and that they may have it more abundantly. My friend, God wants to give you abundant life, abundant living. I'm talking about living uh, beyond your natural means. <laughs> living beyond what man can do for you. See, man will give you things. But then man will also take things away from you that he has given unto you. Man will promote you. But man will also pull down your promotion when uh, they're tired of you. Man will raise you up. And say what a good person this individual is. But my friends, I would rather be saved and know who Jesus is in my life than for all of the money in this world. Because uh, I'm here to tell you, uh, the abundant life living is only found in the truths of the word of God. The word of God is the only way that you can have the power and the substance in your life. You can't have it in your own strength. Your own strength is not powerful enough. Your own mind is not powerful enough to continue to think that you know more than God. All roads leads, all roads leads to salvation. Let all your roads lead to salvation. Turn away. You when you've been going the wrong way, turn away. You've been doing the wrong, turn aside. You've been thinking the wrong, turn it off. My friends, it's time to get into the word of God for yourself. And know God's word for yourself. Know that the thief comes to steal and to kill. You know that the enemy has come to destroy your life and to pull your life down and to make you of none effect. But my friends, I'm here to tell you today that God loves you. For God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son to die on the cross for the sins of the whole wide world. It's a fact, my friend. It's a fact that God died for you. You can read it in the word of the Lord. It is a fact that man uh, is sinful. Man's life is sinful. But God wants to bring us back. Hallelujah. To the things of God. He wants to bring us back. To a mind of God. He wants to bring us back. To the ways of the thinking. Of God. That's what God wants to do for our lives. He wants to bring us back. Hallelujah. To his thinking. To his ways of thinking. To his way. Can you say Jesus. I love you. Can you say Lord Jesus. Wait for me. Can you say, Lord Jesus, wait on me. Hallelujah. Say, Lord, here I come. Ask God today to come into your life. And I'm here to tell you that your life will be fulfilled if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus. And believe, believe in your heart that God raised Jesus from the dead. You shall be saved, my friend. This is how you get saved. If you call on the name of Jesus. And forget about what people said. Forget about what uh, people have said. They said I can't be saved. But I'm here to tell you that that's wrong. They said I can't make it. I'm here to tell you that, it, that that's wrong. They said I can't stop doing uh, this 
drinking. I'm here to tell you that that's wrong. They said, I can't stop smoking marijuana. I'm here to tell you that that's wrong. They said, I can't stop smoking crack. I'm here to tell you that the devil is a liar. Can you say today, Jesus, here I am. As I, I, I'm, I'm no good, Lord. They said I'm no good. I look at myself like I'm no good. But I'm here to tell you, I'm reaching out to you today, God. I'm coming to you as humble as I know how. I'm coming to you, God, for there's no other name given unto man, why man that man can be saved. But at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess that Jesus is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Reach out today for God's hand. Reach out today for the hand of God. He's reaching for you right now. God's reaching for you right now. Ask God to be your personal Savior. Lord, I want you to be my personal Savior. I want you in my heart. I receive you into my heart as my Lord and as my Savior. I receive you today. Hallelujah. I receive you, God, in my life on today. I receive the things of God. Now, my friend, you are a candidate for heaven when you're born again. You are a candidate for the things of God when you have accepted God into your life. According to the prayers of God, you are now born again if you have accepted him uh, into your life on today. Give God your heart. Turn away from the things of the ways of the world. Turn off. Turn aside. Turn away. Turn away. Hallelujah. From uh, allowing the enemy to continue to have your life. Lord, here I am. I give you my life. Here I am, Lord. I give you my time. Here I am, Lord. I give you everything about me. I give you me. Today. I give you me. Today, I confess with my mouth the Lord Jesus. I believe in my heart that you are in my heart. I believe that you are in my heart right now. Hallelujah. I believe that I'm waiting for you to say, I'm, I believe. I'm waiting for you to say it today. I believe God. God's reaching out to you today. Come on to Jesus. While the blood is running warm in your vein. Come on to the Lord. While you still have time. Time is running out but my friends make up in your mind today that I'm coming to God I'm coming to the Lord I made my decision I made my mind up I'm, I'm turning off the ways of the world I'm turning off my friends I'm turning off the way they think I'm turning off the way they think I'm turning off what they said I'm turning off how they think and I'm gonna believe the word of the Lord. I'm going to trust in God. I'm going to believe in the word of God. I'm not going to continue to think. The way my friends think. Think. I'm not going to continue to think. The way my uh, friends think. My friends. I'm here to tell you today. That there's no other way. There's no other way to be saved. But by coming to the Lord Jesus Christ. There's no other way. To know God for yourself. But by you accepting him today, you may be locked in a jail cell. They have thrown away the key. But I'm here to tell you, my friend, God is stepping into your jail cell right now. Right now, God stepping into your jail cell. You may be, have been out all night long. But God is saying, wake up. Come unto me. You may have uh, said, I can't. Be saved because of the things that I've said about God. My friend, I'm here to tell you, God wants to turn that around. Come on to Jesus. Come on to God. Come to God today. Don't wait another minute. Don't wait another second. Don't wait another moment. Don't wait another hour. But turn aside today and come on to God. Come on to God Today, today, this is your day to get saved. 
This is your minute, your moment, your second, your hour. Hey, glory to God. To accept the Lord Jesus Christ into your life. This is your minute, your day. I want to invite you to the St. Louis Church of God Apostolic. That's 106 here in the city of Beckley, West Virginia. I want to invite you to our church home. If you are in our local area, we invite you to the St. Louis Church of God Apostolic. Our pastor is the pastor, Devin McCray. We want to invite you to come and to worship with us. We want you to come and say, Lord, I ask you to come into my heart and save me from my sins. I recommend Jesus unto you today. I recommend the Lord unto you today. Or go to a choice, go to a church of your choice where you can hear the word of God. Where you can worship God. Where you can magnify God. Where you can lift up the name that's above every name. My friends, don't let a moment, don't let another minute go by. Hallelujah. Without accepting the Lord into your life on today. For all have sinned. And come short of the glory of God. For the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. As it is written there is none that right. There is none righteous. No not one. There is none that understand it. There is none that seek it after God. They are all gone out of the way. They are all together become unprofitable. There is none that doeth good. No not one. Therefore to him that knoweth to do good. And doeth it not to him. It is sin. My friends, accept the Lord today. Accept God today to come into your life. Say, Lord, here I am. As humble as I know how. I ask you to come into my life. I ask you to save me from my sins. I give you my life on today. I give you my life. My life, I turn it over. Unto you. Come into my heart Lord Jesus. And save me from all of my sins. Lead me and guide me and direct me. Allow your mind to get into my mind. Allow your ways to be my ways. Lord I thank you today for accepting me. Hallelujah. I thank you today for coming into my heart. I thank you today. For allowing me to be born again, to be saved, and to know who you are in these last and in these evil days. My friends, make up your mind today to come to God. Make up your, it's, this is your decision. This is your mind. This is your decision today to come to God while the blood is running warm in your veins. Make up your mind today. Glory be to God. Make up that mind. Your mind. Your mind. Make up. It's your mind. You've got, you've got to be the one to make up your mind. I can't do it for you. It's got to be you. Hallelujah. You are the only one that is able to make up their own mind. I've told you about God. I've told you that God loves you. My friend, God loves you more than anything in this world. Make up your mind today to come to Jesus. While the blood is running warm in your vein. Make up your mind. And come to God. Come to the Lord. While you still have time. For God so loved the world. He gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believeth in him. Should not perish but have everlasting life. You want life everlasting. You got to come to the life giver. And that is only one person. And that's Jesus Christ. The son of the living God. My friends, my time is running and going out. But until next time, God loves you more than anything in this world. And we love you too. Meet me at the St. Louis Church of God Apostolic. Today, our service begins at 11 a.m. If you're in our local area, come and be with us in our Sunday morning service. And you will receive a warm welcome from our pastor and the congregation that is there. May God bless you. Heaven smile upon you. In Jesus' mighty name.